Exfoliation, that's our topic of discussion today. And what I want you to know is that cosmetic brands promote exfoliation. They promote the use of granular exfoliation and sponges. They make you believe that constant exfoliation of the epidermis, getting rid of all the dead skin, is going to make your skin look less dull and less dry. But this is not true, ladies. This is what you understand is there is more to this than what meets the eye. So please stay tuned to find out why. Now, when we're talking about exfoliation, true skincare cosmetic brands are really concerned about the health of your skin. They really dig deep into understanding the science behind skin health. And as I said, your skin, the thicker it is, the healthier it is, because then it's going to be able to protect you from the thinning ozone layer and the UV rays that are beating down on your skin. But cosmetic brands, they want to promote all these products that they've got and tell you that you need to scrub, scrub, scrub so that you're using all these products. And what you're actually then doing is making your epidermis thinner, which is then very dangerous. It exposes your skin to all kinds of problems and the most important one being skin cancers. So we want to thicken the epidermis. And how do we do that? Well, we need to be using the correct skincare products, but tonight we are talking about exfoliation. And what I need you to understand is, that, so you've got a skin cell that's called a keratinocyte, all right? And what it does is it takes a terminal journey from the dermal layer all the way up to the epidermis, where it then should be compacted in a thin layer on top of the epidermis called your stratus corneum. And what it does is it gives you a protection from the environment. So that's its job. We don't want it to be shed too early. It's got to stay there and sit there for the time that it's meant to sit there to protect you. And then it sheds and the next skin cell comes up and sits there to provide you protection. When you scrub and remove that top layer, what you are doing is removing your protection from the UV rays, but you're also then allowing the water loss from the skin, so the skin becomes dehydrated, and then it becomes, its immunity breaks down, and then the environment can move in. So toxins can move in and actually cause further damage to the epidermis. So true skin care um, houses are very concerned about your health of your skin. And what they do is they create products that will help the skin to shed naturally and evenly. So if you've got uneven skin, that means that your skin is unhealthy. And to make it healthy, you need to be using certain products to feed it. But when it comes to exfoliation, you must be using very gentle products that are only going to be making the skin smooth and not to be scratching and pitting the skin. So any products that have grains in them, they are little beads and they will scratch and pit the skin and make it uneven. And as I've just said to you, uneven skin is unhealthy skin. So what we need to be doing is using products that are smooth and gentle and give micro exfoliation. So gentle exfoliation. And there are two ways to do that, ladies. Now, the one way is the kaolin, the mask. So you get kaolin clay and you get it in a mask form. And so this one is a mask and it's got kaolin in it. All right. So you can see it is creamy. It's a creamy layer. And what you do is you put it on your skin, okay? So you put it on your skin like that. And then what you do is you do a gentle massage. Now, what this does is the micro particles in the kaolin, in the clay, will actually then start gently scrubbing the top layer. Remember, it's just a thin, gentle layer of dead skin. And any of that skin that's ready to be loose and be removed will be gently massaged off as you gently massage your skin. And we're talking about your face, your eyes, your neck, right up into the hairline, down onto your chest. We want to be putting this product onto the face, neck, chin, everywhere, and then gently exfoliating all over and evenly. Then what you do is you get into the water and you wash it all off. If you then um, cleanse it off. So you actually use your cleanser to wash it off. And then I don't want you any longer to be using any towels to dry your face because towels actually carry bacteria. So I don't want you using a towel on your face. 
okay? No longer towels on your face. I want you to be drying your face with tissue or paper towel because that's clean and has no bacteria. That's how you will clean off the cleanser that you've now used to wash off the mask that you've used to exfoliate with. Then your next exfoliant should be your toner. I'll contain alpha hydroxy acids. So alpha hydroxy acids are the intelligent way to exfoliate the skin. You put it on your cotton swab, all right? And then you're going to rub it all over your face, around your eyes, everywhere where you put it on the skin. That's where your skin is going to be naturally encouraged to shed the dead skin when it's ready to shed. It, you don't want to be scrubbing skin off that's not ready. As I said to you, every skin cell has a duty, all right? And it's got to wait its turn. So you don't want to be jumping ahead and scratching off all the top set layer of the skin. So you use your alpha hydroxy acid and you just rub it all over gently. And what they do is they actually soften the bonds that hold the skin, skin together at the top and they help those dead skins to actually shed. So when you've got a healthy skin, your skin is smooth. When you've got an unhealthy skin, it is rough and uneven. And I think you understand now why you need to be using the correct products. Then what you would do is go on to the correct moisturizers after toning, which would be your feeding product to penetrate and heal the skin further. Hello, my name is Adele. I have a business called Her Smile. I help women step into their confidence using the tools fitness, beauty, and styling. For more information, please go to hersmile.com.au. But we were just talking exfoliation today. Now, I hope that this has cleared up any confusion you may have when it comes to exfoliating the skin and maintaining a healthy skin because you can have a healthy skin right up into your 80s and 90s. There's no reason to think that because you're over 50 or over 60, you must just accept the way your skin looks. I promise you there are products out there that can actually re reverse the sign of aging and plump up the skin and make it look plump and youthful again. So if you are interested in a skin consultation, with me we can do it via zoom or we do it face to face either way even on zoom it's a really really good way for me to have a good look at your skin and to give you advice on the correct products to be using if you are interested i will leave a link with this video just click the link it'll take you for more information and then a way to book in to have a consultation with me and while you're there on the website please have a look at our her stories, click on her stories and read the most incredible transformations of our ladies through all our fitness, skincare, makeup artistry and styling programs completely transform their lives. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like it. Please subscribe to our channel if you are on YouTube. But otherwise, thank you for joining me. Until next time.